Ladies and gentlemen, this is the most electrifying host on social media. That is right, it is Team Rari. Listeners, are you ready to listen to another epic podcast from your truly here, Team Rari? I think you are. Anyway, let me do my quick introduction and then we go from there. Okie dokie, shmoky. It is time to get this amazing podcast in the way and we'll discuss wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of interesting topics to discuss with you, my listeners. So sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some of the drink, grab whatever you want to eat, and this will be a very unique podcast once again. So here goes nothing. Now, do you guys remember, and ladies, the right back gimmick in the WWE? A lot of people didn't like that gimmick because he like a he was a Goldberg ripoff. I remember the time my brother and myself attended a pay-per-view and he dominated all these jabronis like local guys. At least they're on our show. I don't know how much they paid them. Probably like 50 bucks to show up and get their butt kicks. And they, they, people call them Goldberg, Goldberg. This is the time that Goldberg did not come back to W until many, many, many years later. Um, so he was jobbing. He beat the crap out of local guys. And I, I, give a, I don't give a darn. And I think he was undefeated. I don't know, but... Eventually, he, he feeds the Supers like John Cena, CM Punk, and the list goes on. And then, I think um, we, my brother and myself went to Payback. I forgot what year it was. It was John Cena versus Ryback in the ambulance match. And it was a very good match, in my opinion. John Cena won, typical. Um, because he's the, he's the poster boy, at the time, of the WWE. And... Um, and it was a great build up in my opinion and I wish right back one but whatever then down the road um, he, or I think before but he was in a hell cell between himself and Sam Punk he got screwed because Brian Maddox was a special referee and you know whatever but Sam Punk was um, Paul Hammond's boy you know all that good stuff and So we all know the history of McMahon. He loves super heavyweights, but like Bobby Lashley, I don't know about right back. Maybe, maybe not. Um, Lesnar, um, Batista. The list goes on and on. He's not a big fan of little guys like Eddie Guerrero, um, Daniel Bryan, Edge. The list goes on. Maybe he is. Maybe he is not. You know, I don't know. We hear all these rumors. You know, all that good stuff. He's a big fan of Mark Henry. He's a big fan of the Big Show back in the day. You know, he loves guys with a lot of muscles. I don't know why, but that's what I heard. So, now the reason I'm, I'm mentioning about Ryback, right there's a possibility he might come back to W. And I said to myself, are you freaking kidding me? Hopefully this is just a rumor. We don't want to see him back. W really dropped the ball with him when he was the Ryback right gimmick. And, you know, he had like fake pyro and I wish they use real pyro you just hear the sounds but no pyro what's up with that W what's up with that and you know I kind of like this gimmick but on the other hand I didn't overall it was it was just the average it's a rip off of Goldberg it's the same thing I know you guys won't agree with me Goldberg no actually Never mind, I'm gonna go into detail because that'll be open another can of worms. So, um, I don't wanna see him back at all. What about you? Would you like to see right back and back in the W? Yes or no? No, I do not. The only way he could, um, I don't know if he left on bad terms or good terms. I put the article down below and I don't know, maybe he's desperate for money. I'm assuming he is. That's when he wants to come back. Um, and probably he wants a. Um, Guaranteed as a champion that sucks. He was never champion. I know he team up in a TLC match with 
himself, Daniel Bryan, and Kane, I think, against The Shield back then. It was a very good match, in my opinion. The Shield dominated that match. I think it was part of that match. Freak, I don't know. But I'll put the article down below. Hopefully it doesn't show up. Hopefully W does not sign up for a new W contract. If he does, then so be it. Um, so I don't know what to say. You guys remember before right back used to be Skip Sheffield. He used to be the part of the original Nexus and he got injured and then W gave him a new gimmick, a new name, and the rush is history. Um, do you guys like the Skip Sheffield gimmick? It didn't really ask how long. Can you just imagine if he never got injured? Do you think he'll be like right back gimmick? Or do you think W will will actually take him seriously? Probably they will never take him seriously if he was Still, Skip Sheffield or right back. I think right back and Skip Shield was bogus wrestling names in my opinion, but whatever. So, do you think we you guys like to see once again? We like to see a possibility right back return in the WWE, yes or no? You guys give a darn if he if he does sign with WWE. What brand would be Raw and SmackDown? Or maybe they could ship him to NXT. I don't know. It, it all depends how much money he wants. If he wants a full time with the beat or a part time thing, you know. I don't think he will ever be in the Hall of Fame. He was never in the W that long anyway. He was just an average guy. Or I know a lot of you gonna say he's garbage. I agree with you. You know, W did not really use him correctly. You know, Joey Paolo, McMahon loves those super heavyweights and he's part of that um, uh, group also, but Paolo is another story. Anyway, have a good one and thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.